Welcome again to this educational virtual class, myself Rashmi Neenamma from New Catholic Mission School, Jabwa. In the last session, we had read what is noun. Naming words are noun. So, let us revise it once again with a small exercise. Okay. So, here are some noun words which are uti, name of city, dog, name of animal, teacher, name of person, lion, animal. Lucknow, name of place, rose, name of flower, goat, name of animal, lily, name of flower, policeman, name of person, marigold, name of flower, nurse, person, Hyderabad, place, cow, animal, lotus, name of flower, bear, name of animal and zebra again name of animal. Here are some sentence okay what you have to do just pick those noun words which are exactly or correctively related to this sentence first sentence people who help us okay as you know okay uti lucknow these are not word of people which are related to so the people who help us obviously teacher policeman nurse okay teachers who help you in study policemen who help to control the crime and nurse who look after the sick people then second sentence is names of towns and so names of town sorry uh, animals uh, by mistake okay uh, i had written here so the name of towns and i think here will come cities so uti hyderabad and lucknow these are the name of places or towns. Then third sentence names of domestic animal. Domestic animals means paltu. So yes, goat, dog and cow. All these three are domestic animals. Then number four names of wild animals. Wild animals who lives in forest. So yes, bear, zebra, lion. All these three are wild animals. Then names of flowers, so yes of course, lily, lotus, marigold, rose are names of flower. Okay, so now as I told you that from today we will start types of nouns. So here are some types of noun which are common noun, proper noun, abstract noun, collective noun, countable noun and uncountable noun. So today we will start common, proper and abstract noun which is your chapter number 2. So what is common or proper word meaning? Okay, so proper means which is particular related to the particular specific person, animal, place or thing or common means which is very general. Okay, for example uh, the word vegetable is a common noun. But when you took name of particular vegetable like pumpkin, brinjal or bitter gourd, okay. So the name of particular thing is known as proper noun. For example, word pen is a common noun, okay. But when you say its brand name, the pen's brand name, okay, that time it will be proper noun. So let's see. Common nouns are names, common names of person, animal and things. For example, mother, father, city, school, colony, okay, minister, car, these are common nouns. And then proper noun which are special names or uh, specific name of person, animal, places and things like Nisha, Aman. Mumbai, particular city name, India, of course our country, okay, Pepsi, April and Tuesday. So, let us solve some exercise. Here are some noun words. What you have to do? Just identify which are the proper noun and which are the common noun. Okay, one more thing uh, I want to tell you that proper nouns always capitalized. Okay, proper noun always start with capital letter 
it is a very easy easy catch for you to identify the proper noun so as you can see first word is jack capital letter and of course you know name of person or particular person so yes it is proper noun then muffin so many flavor of muffin are present okay so no flavor name mentioned here so yes it is a common noun then behave again common noun easter name of particular festival capital letter so of course it is proper noun library so many kind of libraries are present so no name uh, specific or particular name mentioned here so it is a common noun then shop which shop no mention again common noun then harry potter you all know so proper noun then june okay name of month capital letter of course it is a proper noun donald name of a particular person proper noun market which market no mention so yes it is again common noun okay now let's see one more exercise okay circle the proper noun and underline the common noun what you have to do circle the proper noun and underline the common noun so first sentence is my cousin gave me the book the three musketeers okay so here word cousin no name mentioned here so yes the word cousin is a common noun and the name particular name of a book the three musketeer is a proper noun and book word is a common noun then second sentence nisha and bina are sisters as you can see nisha bina both are particular or specific person names so of course they are proper noun start with capital letter and the word sister is a common noun then number 3 bruno is a small dog but he likes to fight with big dogs so the name of particular pet or dog bruno as you know proper noun and the word dog is common noun number 4 Shiva likes to wear dress but Shruti likes to wear sarees so the word Shiva Shruti name of particular person so of course the both name Shiva and Shruti are proper noun and the word dress and saree different kind of dress are present different material of sarees are present so yes no specific thing uh, mentioned over here so the word dress sari both are common noun then number 5 the mona lisa is the famous painting so the word mona lisa proper noun and the word painting common noun then ramdini is my neighbor name of person of course proper noun and neighbor common noun seven dayaram and sukhi are clever carpenters okay so dayaram sukhi person name particular name so yes both dayaram sukhi are proper noun and carpenter common noun number 8 delhi is the capital of our country so word delhi specific name of a city so the word delhi is proper noun capital other capitals are also present and country other countries are also there so the both word capital and country are common noun then number 9 sunita plays the piano and sunidhi is a singer again person name particular or specific person name so the both words sunita and sunidhi are proper noun and then piano and singer okay so the piano no brand name mention here so the piano and singer both are common noun now next abstract noun what is abstract noun as you can see an abstract noun is the name of an action state or quality it refers to the thing which you think or you can feel it means you cannot experience it with the five sense of organ and they are your sight hear hear okay nose uh, smell and then taste and touch so you cannot touch them or you cannot hear them or you cannot test the abstract nouns for example growth 
can you touch the cloth of course not beauty bravery sleep can you smell the sleep of course not you can only feel them or you can only think about them okay so the things or the words you can only think or you can only feel are known as abstract noun okay so some exercise are here which are which are related to the abstract noun okay the question is circle the abstract noun some options are here you have to choose abstract noun so the first is cake you can taste the cake so of course it is not abstract noun then youth you can only think of it or feel so yes it is abstract noun then potato you can see or you can touch the potato so it is not abstract noun karim name of person of course not abstract noun then joy you can only think or you can only feel the joy so it is abstract noun then goodness again abstract noun baking it is not abstract noun pity abstract noun actor you can see the actor you can talk to the actor okay and then sadness you cannot touch it or you cannot taste it so yes it is sadness because you can only feel it then hunger you can only feel hungerness so it is abstract noun dust no stool again no then yes anger and greed you can you can beat uh, feel all both anger and anger and greed then so yes the both word anger and greed are abstract noun next question underline the abstract nouns in the following sentence first sentence my mother asked me not to get into trouble okay so here one word mother place noun you can see your mother you can touch your mother but the word trouble you can only feel or you can only think about it so the word trouble is an abstract noun second the doctor said that exercise is good for health so the word health is an abstract noun then third cleanliness is the good habit so the word cleanliness is an abstract noun number 4 i cannot remember the dream i had last night can you touch the dream of course not you can only think about it so yes the word dream is abstract noun fifth the dove is a symbol of a peace the word peace you can feel or you can think so the word peace again abstract noun then number 6 the king was known for his kindness okay you cannot touch it or you cannot smell it so yes the word kindness you can feel so it is an abstract noun then number 7 richa likes listening to music okay richa person name of course it is not a abstract noun but the word music is abstract noun number 8 the old man is full of wisdom the word wisdom you can feel or you can think of it so yes the word wisdom is abstract noun again last question fill in the blanks with this abstract noun and options are great childhood slyness means cleverness kindness and honesty first fill in the blanks kishore showed days to the sick animals so yes the right option is kindness then second the fox fooled the lion with his slyness it means cleverness then number 3 honesty is the best best policy as you all know then four tully ate her sister's share of the cake to out of greed lalachme then number 5 grandma tells us stories of her childhood in her village so now we will now we will meet in the next session till then stay at home stay safe and save lives thank you